What's happening, y'all? I hope you're having a great day. It's Friday. Got the Cotton Bowl tonight, where the Ohio State Buckeyes will defeat the USC Trojans. Lock it in. All right. Let's check out a couple stories from the Drudge Report. My favorite place to get news, the Drudge Report. That and InfoWars. You listen to InfoWars, bro? That's fake news, man. You need to get real news, like from CNN and Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Alright. Wife accidentally bites off husband's testicle during sex. What the fuck? Wife accidentally bites off husband's testicle during sex. She bit off my man's nut. That is crazy. How do you, first, wait, how do you accidentally bite off a testicle? Wouldn't that like take work or go, oh, that's a nut. You know, oh, oh my, oh, that hurts my nuts just thinking about it. Ah, she bit off a dude's testicle. All right, let's click on this story. I really, I'm going to regret this. I, I know I'm not going to be able to get through the whole story without... The man was holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl when the ambulance arrived. This is not funny at all. Why am I laughing? Why do I think this is funny? Is it, it's not funny. It's kind of funny. The wife repeatedly said, I accidentally bit it off. I don't believe that, according to media reports. The incident occurred in the wee hours of Boxing Day in West Taiwan. Oh, these, these people were from Taiwan. The man, 51, and his wife, 49, reportedly has a mental illness. Wait, the man or the wife? The man, 51, is being treated, and his wife, 49, repeatedly has a mental illness. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say if you're biting a dude's nut off, you have a mental illness. I don't, I know that's a... A, like a bold statement. You can't go biting off nuts. May, well, it was Taiwan. Maybe she considered it a delicacy. A man in Taiwan was reportedly rushed to the hospital on Boxing Day after his wife chewed off one of his nuts during an aggressive lovemaking session. Oh, I, I'd call it aggressive, all right. When paramedics arrived at the couple's home, they apparently saw the 51-year-old man, surnamed Wang, <laughs> You bit Wang's nut off? Never bite a Wang's nut. Wearing a robe and holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl. <laughs> uh, this is uh, not food. This is uh, my testicle. The wife repeatedly explained, I accidentally bit it off. I don't know if Taiwan people talk like that necessarily. That's very stereotypical. Uh, actually, when I was in ta Taiwan, uh, no, they didn't talk exactly like that. But I want to do like that, like at that, anyways. I don't care. Fuck it. I'm not politically correct. If I offend you, hmm, go fuck yourself. So, Taiwan news website Apple Daily reported that the man's right ball had been ripped off by his wife, surnamed Hesaya, 49. All right, that's enough. That's enough. I don't think we need to. The the. I don't want to know anything more about the, that story. I'm done. Scientific breakthrough cuts cancer risk from bacon. Bullshit. First of all, bacon don't give you cancer. I'm so... My grandma made bacon like four meals a day, literally. She'd wake up in the morning and eat bacon and eggs, have a BLT for lunch, and then for dinner eat a bacon, bacon, and bacon sandwich. My grandma was a bacon-eating woman. She was the bacon-eating express. And she uh, lived to be 3,400,947 years old. I'm not exaggerating. That was her real age when she passed. Uh, but no, she lived to be a ripe old age, ate bacon all the time, eggs, See, and this is what I, I... I did a video on this once, but I'm going to reiterate. 
Um, every four years or so, there's another story. Like, you know, eggs are bad for you. Eggs will kill you. Do not eat eggs. Four years later, eggs are the truth. Eggs are full of vitamins. You need to eat eggs or you will die. The bacon, same thing. Bacon, oh, bacon, oh, bacon's got cancer. Bacon causes cancer. Never mind the shit we pour into your water, uh, the shit we do to your food, spraying your air. Don't worry about all that. It's the bacon you gotta keep your eye on. I call bullshit all the way uh, bacon. Ask a, an Ethiopian that's starving in the desert if he's worried about uh, bacon giving him cancer. He will say, hell no, give me the fucking bacon. So enough, enough of the demonization of bacon. Sick of that shit. So the moral of today's story is, don't bite somebody's testicle off, bite into a delicious slice of bacon.